Well, I'm here with uh, Jeremy Jeffress, and uh, boy, good to see you. And uh, what's it mean to you to be back here and the, and the fans and the support? It's like you guys are still in the pennant chase right now, yet yeah. you're, you're kind of rebuilding this team. Yeah, uh, it means a lot. You know, I'm glad to be back. You know, Milwaukee's a great city, great fans everywhere. And uh, it, it's, it means a lot to me coming back to, you know, for another season. You know, storyline, you know, you get drafted and, and start to develop your minor league career with the team. And, of course, the trades and uh, other teams come back. But you've really now, in the last couple of years, established who you are as a major league pitcher. Uh, why has this process, in your opinion, worked out so well here over the last couple of years? Uh, I would have to say more knowledge. I've gotten a lot smarter, you know, more knowledgeable. A lot of people in my corner to help me. And uh, it's just, you know, back you know, when I was younger, I just didn't know any better. You know, now I know a lot more things. I'm getting, you know, more mature day by day. You know. And uh, it, it's just, to see where I am now, it is a blessing. Yeah. We all know you, you've gone through, you know, some serious things in your life, and, and you've done a great job straightening things out. Having Frankie, though, from the baseball perspective, he's not there anymore. How much has he helped you over the last couple of years being around and, and making you Jeremy Jeffers today? Uh, I would say a great deal, man. That guy is one of the smartest, hardworking, Closers, I've you know I've never been a part of other than Hoffman, you know Hoffman, other than Hoffman, and uh, you know those two guys giving me you know information. It's just I've taken a lot from both of them, you know, and what I've taken from Frankie, you know, really pushed me over the top because you know he sees he sees himself in me when he was younger, you know, kind of you know uh, by what he was doing, and uh, to give to, to give me all the preparation and the, and the knowledge that he's given me, man. Like I said, it's, it's really gotten me over the top, and. and keeping me in the game the way I'm supposed to be. Are you ready to, to be the next closer of the Brewers? A lot of people are pointing and saying, logically, you're the guy. You, you've got the fastball. You've got your off-speed pitches working now. Are you the next closer, do you think? Do you want that role? In my heart, yes, I yeah? do. Yes, I want it so badly. I, I, can't, I can't stress how much I want it. Ever since the day I got moved to the pen, you know, that's, that's what I wanted to do. And that was back in 2010. So you know, I've really worked, worked very hard, been the different Roles in the pen, you know, having to figure it out. Kansas City, I was long man two years in a row, you know, and you know Toronto, I I, I did a little bit in the back end, but um, being in the back end of the bullpen is it's really where I need to be, and it's really where I want to be. And you know, the intensity of the closing the game, man, the, the drilling is, I love it, I love it so much, and I want it. That's awesome, man. I hope it works out for you. Let's talk about uh, the how this team has changed a little bit, and uh, now it's rebuilding. It's full blown rebuilding a lot of new faces you're seeing here today now they're going to be your teammates uh, when spring training opens up is, is that different for you or have you been on enough teams and enough situations where it's just time to do your thing uh, kind of that way but you know every, every every team every rebuild stage is hard you know a lot of there's a lot of fingers pointing there's you know a lot of attitudes running around you know but uh what I've what I've seen to learn from it, you know, is, is just there. You do have a job to do. You, know? you you can't really worry about everybody else, you know, until everybody's on that diamond, you know. So, but to prepare yourself and to make sure that you're comfortable and you're you're able to stay in the big leagues, you know, where you need to be, it's just it's you got to have that worry about yourself attitude, you know. Just make sure your life is comfortable. You know, you want to have a comfortable life. Everybody's at, you know, so. You know, in the rebuild stage, I, I just I feel like we just need to play our game, man. You know, rebuild that way. Just play your game. You know, we'll, we'll see what happens. 25, come together and yeah, give it your yeah, best shot. Give it your best shot, man. We'll see what happens. So off season, take a couple of trips. Yeah. yeah. What else did you do during the off season that you've never done before? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah, my one trip this off season, I actually rented an RV. You man. rented an RV. I rented an RV. A big for real yeah, RV. A real How big RV. was the yeah, rig? It was about a 35 footer. It was a, it was wow. a good one. Yeah, it was a good one. And uh, now, how'd that turn out? And where did you go? <laughs> we went up to Flagstaff, about two hours, two and a half hours north of Phoenix, and uh, it worked out good, man. I'm telling you, because I got a little country blood in me from yeah. being from Virginia, yeah. and I had to take, you know, the girlfriend and the baby out there, and her sister and her uh, father went out there, and. Man, it was, it, we had a blast. We went down some little snow hills with sleds, and we just had a blast. So at, where'd you park the RV? Did you did you in camp, camp in, yeah. in different spots? In RV, no, we had an RV camp uh, site. 
and, and it's called uh, Black Bart's RV Campsite Park Ground, and uh, we hooked up, you know, to the, to the thing, and we just, I don't know, we did whatever. You did the whole Grand yeah. Canyon thing? No, we didn't do the Grand Canyon. Didn't we just do went, the Grand Canyon. Went to a place called Snow Bowl, you know, they got sleds and stuff up there, you know, good scenery, and uh, we went to another place called Wings Mountain. That's where a bunch of kids just be around just sledding down little bunny hills. Nice. You know, it was it was awesome. My daughter loved it. Nothing like a good RV. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Here's your man right here, Jeremy <laughs> Jeffers. <laughs> I'll take you anywhere you My dad used to drive buses, so like uh, I, I just been riding with him growing up, you know. And just seeing how I learned a lot of stuff from watching people. You know, and I actually just learned how to drive something that big from watching him. Just need a good motor going uphill and good brakes that's going it, down. That's right? it, yeah, you're right. Hey, good to see you. Yes, sir. Good luck this Thank season. You. Okay, so Jeremy Jeffers. Yeah.